everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to Let's Talk Movies. I'm Brad. I'm Miguel, guys. I'm Julia. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Was waiting for it. She came in late. And we have reached the abyss that is Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. This is our commentary. We are paused at zero seconds right now. The screen is black, so if you just want to go ahead and grab your copy. Um, we're just watching the standard theatrical version. None of that uncut bull crap. And uh, <laughs> we're paused at zero seconds, so go ahead and grab your copy and go ahead and get it ready. And um, I, this is, I, I'll tell you what, this is the most disappointing thing in the entire franchise for me because it had so much potential. And like Rob Zombie took everything that was fantastic about his first movie and he just like flushed it down the toilet and like poured like oil on it. Jesus. So, but I mean, I thought, I mean, I thought, uh, okay, I had some choice words about Halloween one, the Rob Zombie cut. And yeah. honestly, like the way you keep talking about this, I feel like I'm going to hate this even more. I'm not going to lie. So I guess there I could good say things about it. Like, don't get me wrong, but it just, there's so much that could have been amazing about it. And he just, it just, I don't know. You'll see. Yeah. yeah we'll see, I'm so. the only one who's seen this. My wife and Miguel have not seen this yet. So nope. it's going to be kind of fun to watch. I saw this in the movie theater and I'll, I'll tell you more about that when we get, <laughs> cause it's funny. Well, right, literally. So. Okay. What? No, go what? ahead. That's fine. No, go, You're good. Go, go. No. Okay. I was just saying like, um, this is the only movie where I'm excited because the bar is set so low. <laughs> Yeah. Honestly. There are oh. really good things about it. Like the first 20 minutes of this movie is one of my favorite sequences of the entire franchise. But after that, it just gets rough. So without any further talking about it. I do. I do. Whatever. I do. Here we go. We are starting in three, two, one, play. There's that dimension. Yep. Remember who made dimension? <laughs> remember, remember what dimension made, guys. Hi, kids. Yep. Uh, what is White Horse? You'll see. It's so stupid. Like an artistic choice to include. Oh, uh, it was an artistic choice, all right. There's Sherry Moon again. That's the mom. Oh, Rob Zombie's wife. She's got to get horned into every wait, movie he makes. I thought she killed herself. Or is this going to just... It's a flashback. It's to be a flashback. First of all, first mm. problem, they got a different kid to play him. Okay, there were years in between. The kid grew up. Whatever. Perhaps it was only two years. That's normal. It was only two years. Children develop quickly. The first one came out in 2007. This came out in 2009. Children develop quickly. That's normal. That looks like a girl. Oh my god. I'm Gender sorry. swap. Gender swap. Not to assume that, poor that kid. child's gender. Also, what the hell is the white horse doing on the table? Was there a white horse in, in the Halloween one? No. That's just something he added. Because, like, why not? I swear, everything that was brilliant about the first one. And there was a lot wrong with the first one. You and I talked about that. Yeah. But... He was never that happy-go-lucky. And the first one, he was just psychotic as fuck. Fifteen years later. This is... This is a killer-looking shot. That's one of the best things he does is his cinematography. Like, he knows how to set up a shot. Because that looks amazing. Is that him? No, that's Lori. Stop. I mean, tell me that's not an awesome shot. So is this like, so this is like after like, yeah. she shot him in the head. This is literally like, probably Same less day. than 15 minutes after oh. she shot him. Like, and he tackled her off the roof. She looks rough. Nah, it's Carrie, bitch. She's covered in blood. Oh, 
I did my nails again in this one. I listened to the first commentary. I did <laughs> that one too. <laughs> what are you drinking, Miguel? I got me a Stella because I'm a, a bad bitch. Not bad. Who drinks who drinks high end shit? I'm kidding. It's just like <laughs> I remember when Brad turned twenty one at KMEA. He's like he's like, I wanna go to bed. And I was like, Okay, you need to drink every night because you're allowed to now. That's how it worked <laughs> after I got my second COVID vaccine. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I went to like the little kiosk in the lobby or wherever and I got him a Stella. And yep. Was it in like the? Was it in the Stella glass? It was in a really like fancy green bottle. Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. I mean, that sells like the sandwiches and stuff in that. Yeah. Okay. In um the golf house. Yes. Yeah, that's where it was. Oh, okay. So Loomis survived. Yes. That's good. He's not looking too hot though. Well, yeah. Look what he. Look what happened to him. Happy to throw my dog popcorn because she's sitting here whining in my face and drooling on me. What is that crap sticking out of his body? I think it's a her. Oh, is that? It's like her bone or stuff. Jesus, she got fucked. She got screwed up. Part of me wonders, is this, like, actually how they do surgery? Like, is this, like, pretty... Grey's like, somebody who's been through, like, a traumatic... I was literally going to say, have you seen Grey's Anatomy? <laughs> no. Oh, God. Who are you going to... For Grey's, they use, Gross. like... They use, like, pig's stomachs and stuff. Are you like, serious? To like film it? flesh. Holy crap. Yeah. Because you can't use actual human flesh. I think most of the time they do fake blood with, like, cornstarch and, like, dye. Well, when you're talking about guts, you got to more than that. Grey's Anatomy returns this week. What season is this? 23? Um, 468. I want to say it's 19, but I'm not sure. These two guys are dickheads. Like... Two of the worst parts of the movie. And we're driving. See, look, I it just it just pisses me off how they're so nonchalant about it. But I mean Loomis literally wrote a book about this person, about how fucking psychotic he is. How dangerous he is? Yeah, and they just don't fucking care. Like, I never understood. Like, there's, like, Michael Myers is common knowledge right now, and people still don't understand the absolute danger he poses for, like, everybody in that town. Do you hear their disgusting-ass conversation right now? He's yep. talking about how their dead bodies look, like, sexy. Like... Like, that's another example of, like, why did that need to be in the movie? Like, what? I don't know. Like, all of this could have been cut out for me. Every single bit of it. Jesus Christ. It's Who the fuck says that? Exactly. Exactly. It's like I'm just going to I'm just going to go to limb and say like both of them die. You think? It's gross. Oh, how how heavy was that cow? Jesus fuck. I know, right? I'm sorry. I call bullshit. Jeez. It's over the top, man. It is way over the top this time with the gore, which is fine. I get that that, that works for Rob Zombie's wheelhouse. 
and it's something he does well. Very gory. Also, I'm not going to lie. I now only have like one year of physics <laughs> in like college, <laughs> but I'm that almost certain have that accident couldn't have done that. It literally looked like it, it hit a wall. I mean, I guess if it was a bull. Was it a bull? It, he said cow. How many programs are you going to say it, buddy? I get it. You're in pain. <laughs> what is he? What? He's just saying fuck over and over again. Like, I feel like that would not be the reaction. Can you imagine Rob Zombie writing this? He's probably like, what should I write here? Fuck. 27 times. Jules, all you missed was they hit a cow transporting his dead body. And Michael's back. I will say, he looks amazing for the first 20 minutes of this movie. Like, the mask is terrifying. I've always wanted a copy of that mask. But I wish Trick or Treat Studios would get on that because I would love to have a copy of it. But they haven't done the Rob Zombie ones. They're only doing the originals. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Gross. Okay, okay. I feel like one one swoof of his arm would have done enough. I know, right? Look at that mask, man. I still hate that you can see his eyes, though. And here we go. This is the other, this is probably the other biggest, like, sin of this movie. Is the whole white horse thing for no reason. Was there anything about a white horse in the first movie? No. Like, that's the thing. There was literally nothing about it. She basically turned, like, Rob Zombie turns him into Jason in this movie where he, like, does everything because of his mom and he's, like, trying to avenge his mom's death. Like, and that's supposed to be, like, his, like, his vision or whatever. But, like, why? Like, you don't need to do that. Mm, good song. White and night satin. <laughs> also, that cop is really asleep. I have so many questions. I see no reason for her to get up. As far as she's concerned, Michael's dead. Oh, don't tell me that's who I think it is. That's Octavia Spencer. Oh, my goodness. Please don't tell me she dies in this movie. I hate to break it to you, but it's rough. Oh, one fuck. Of the worst. It's one of the roughest deaths of the entire franchise. <laughs> she, she signed up for that. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> She's a good actress, though. Do you see her in that, in that new movie, she, new scary movie uh, she made? Um, Ma. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see it, but I heard it was good. And there's Danielle Harris. Who is that? Annie, her friend. Annie. To be fair, if you just went through some crazy traumatic event and you were like the victim of some terrible crime, wouldn't you be like, I mean, wouldn't you want to know 
about your friends and like what happened. Yeah. Like I feel like you would just be in like kind of a state of shock. I'm sure she still is. Octavia Spencer's like, you need to rest. Like, like you literally got your shit rocked. Why did she just leave her? She got a call. A shit ton of uh, Tylenol. I feel so bad for her in this scene, man. She didn't last long either. She's only in the movie for like, what, two minutes? Pretty much. What, she just get her face cut? Yeah, she's about to get her. You were talking about getting your shit rock. I will say, this is probably the most terrifying version of Michael in the entire franchise. Yeah, you can still see his eyes. Like, I feel like it would have been scarier if you couldn't have seen his eyes. But I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I can't see shit. Where did he stab her? And now he's like, I was it her mouth? Yeah. Or like her face or something? I don't know if he like slashed. Like casually. The dude's six foot nine. (laughs) Like a loaf of bread. Like so easy. Ugh. I hate that he's grunting too. Yeah. Pretty bad, Holy man. Cow. Very, very boring. It's a little too over the top for my taste. So. Oh good. my god. Yeah. <laughs> like, was that necessary? Yeah, he like I don't I don't even know what he did. I don't know, man. And I mean, this is a nod to Halloween too, where the majority of that movie takes place in the hospital. She just up and left the. Yeah, she sure did. Took his weapon of choice. The heck? It's about to get crazier. Me thinking about the fact that I'm going to be in a boot all summer long. (laughs) It's going to be you walking around the house. Help me. (laughs) I can't do anything. I've fallen and I (laughs) stay. She needs life alert. Oh my goodness. Well, no matter who she calls, who's going to help her? The fucking hospital's gone. I know, right? Well, they'll transfer. They'll take her to a Chicago wing. (laughs) Michael is basically her life alert. Yeah. He's honestly there just to get her to a different hospital. I'm kind of shocked that this little small town in Illinois would like have the team. For, yeah, there were nine doctors in there when she was having her surgery, and now no, everybody's no, job. It was literally like Octavia Spencer was the only employee there. Well, I mean, those doctors are on call. Isn't that how that works? On call. Okay, but it wasn't that. It wasn't that long ago. Wait, on calls when you're at home, and then they call you into work. Right? Yes. Up, oh, he got the axe now. Here we go. We're getting wild now. That looks good too, man. He really is like. Artistic. Yeah, it, artistic. his. It's very visually appealing. And that's one of the best things that Rob Zombie does. It's just unfortunate that everything has to be so trashy. <laughs> I wonder if they have fun filming these movies or if it's like low-key terrifying. I feel like it'd be a little bit of both. 
because it's funny, like Tyler Maine, the guy who plays Michael, like in interviews and stuff, he's such a nice guy. Like he yeah. just, he seems very the guy who plays Michael. yeah, like he's very I don't know, he's just like a real like gentle, cool guy. And it's weird how you can like that they could just like turn it on and off like that, you know. They are professional actors. I mean that is true. This pumpkin spice tea is good. Is it really Halloween if you're not drinking pumpkin spice tea? Guys, this man is literally drinking pumpkin spice tea with popcorn, and I don't know whether I should be offended March. or yeah, especially in March. Okay. March. We're watching a Halloween movie. I mean, duh. Okay. Still March. Weird. You really don't like that you can really? see his eyes, do you? How it should be. It's not. I'm sorry. It's not like that for any other kind of a mask. This no. poor guy, too, man. Who's he? He's just like the poor security guard. Aww. Me rolling up to work. <laughs> 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 that coffee and two donuts, struggling in the rain. Michael is like the teacher bringing their, your first class to you at 8 a.m. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> he thought you were enjoying your night. Nice also, he's holding two donuts. Those donuts are screwed. It is pouring outside, man. What's a nice gentleman? He is a nice guy, you. man. Trying to take care of this struggling young. Maybe. I'm sorry, but if I saw a young lady over here like scr like freaking out, my first initial reaction is to get her somewhere else. Mm. There's a reason why she's in there. Yes, that's true. Is it pumpkin spice, darling? He really is a good guy. He's trying to calm her down. He just has no idea what's going on. Is is it on screen or off screen death? What do you think? What's your uh, guess? I'm gonna say on screen, full on like gore. Yeah. But, well, that's kind of how his movies are, though, too. Like both of these. There's yeah, Knights in White awesome. Satin again. What the fuck is I going think, on? I think it's partially his trying to be like artistic and like using like cues and stuff. You know what I mean? Like motifs, like the white horse thing. Well, from the looks of it, it didn't do a good job. And his name is Buddy. I mean, come on. Only people who are really nice have the name Buddy. Are there any deaths in this movie that are not on screen? Uh, I don't know. The original was more about on screen death or off screen death. Yeah. But... Oi! Block! Buddy! Buddy? That was a actor's choice right there. To mean? just smash his face into the window like that, so he look has that pig nose thing. Probably. Also, I mean, I don't know. I shouldn't say that because if I if I was in that situation, I mean, you'd be hiding anywhere you could. But. Probably in shock. I know. Like... I mean, like he knows she's under the desk. Like, he knows. That looks terrifying. I will say that. Why is that all pixely? I don't know. Right here, man. This is the biggest mistake of the entire franchise. What? I'll Him punching you. through the wall? No, you'll see. Is that possible? Are those what? walls that thin? 
Bro, like you said, this is Michael Myers. This man has supernatural abilities, I guess. I still don't like the fact that he grunts. I know, that's weird, isn't it? Like, yeah, a little bit. Make sound. And yeah, it's not even like a, it's like a, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ready to get pissed? We were in the movie theater. My dad and I went and saw both of these in the movie theater in like in 2009. And when she woke up from a dream and all of what you just saw like wasn't real, he actually like out loud went, what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. Now who is this again? Is that Lori? Yeah. That's Lori. So now we flashed forward. Um, yeah. yeah, so one year later. One year later. Yep. So he's going to. In case you were confused with 12 months later. Yes. And what is this bathroom? It's an Alice Cooper bathroom. I know, but she like, what's with the graffiti? Little, um, That's, okay. Uh, misunderstood. That's the thing. I don't know if he's going to show it in like this scene when she walks back into her room. But like, she's got like Charles Manson posters and stuff in her room. Like, again, if you were the survivor of some crazy traumatic event, why would you have like serial killer posters and shit hanging up in your bedroom? Um, because you can't change who you are, I guess. I don't really know. <laughs> so I guess, so I guess she's living with uh, yeah, the cops now. Yeah, she's the sheriff. With bracket nanny. Okay. Which again, bracket is the about the only shining light in this entire movie. And that's him, the cop yeah. dad. Yep. Except he has a ponytail now. Because <laughs> her adoptive parents died uh-huh. before. Got it. Are they going to move him from his facility on Halloween like the idiots? That oh, they all you'll are? see. Like, okay, let's look at this logically. This man only kills people. On October 31st. So don't you think that the one day we put him in a van and make him leave this high maximum security prison cell is on the day he kills? Can I tell you something? I don't know. What is He's it? He's not in a facility. Where is he? He's just out? What? He's in the grave, isn't he? We got to be introduced to Hobo Myers here in a few minutes, which was the other like big crap shoot. He's this just entire movie. out? You'll see. It's just, I don't know. I'm sorry. How do you do all that crap? And they never caught him. It's not like he. And there isn't like some type of huge manhunt? Yes. I know, but that's what I'm saying. It's just like the decisions were terrible. And that's, that's another a thing. That's a plot hole, is what that I know. is. That's not a it's bad decision. It's full of them. Her car's pretty dope, though. That's a Mitsubishi 3000 GT. <laughs> You know, right there, fam. It's a good car. Piece also, of shit, though. Another thing that kills me about this movie, wouldn't this have been more impactful and more meaningful if Dr. Loomis was her psychiatrist now? Is he still doing his... I, mean, I said, is he still recovering? Because, uh, you know, he got his shit rocked, too. I feel like everything, it's just like every scene, there's like something new that's just terrible about this movie. For a second there, I thought that was Carrie Fisher, and I was about to be really pissed. No, <laughs> no. Who is the who's Lori? Who's that girl? Her name is Scout Taylor Compton. She's a good actress. That's the thing is like he screwed up a lot of the characters in this movie. Like pretty much most of the, the only character I really like root for in this movie is Bracket because he like genuinely tries to do the right thing. He made every single like he took what was good about every single character and just screwed it up. But well. I don't know. She's a good like, and it's not to the fault of any of the actors or the actresses. Like, they all the actors did a great job. It was just the way they were written and how they were written. She was in Thirteen Going on Thirty. Was she? Yeah. She's cool. I follow her on Instagram. She's really cool. Okay. Daniel Harris is cool. They're all cool. And here, Miguel, you're gonna hate this so much. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to see this part.
what is he just famous now because he was fucking right they turned him into like a pompous asshole in this where he's like famous for dealing with michael and like he doesn't really care about anything anymore like in the first one he was trying to do the right thing he, he was just a guy like trying to help him and trying to help Lori. and now he's just like famous and he like go get me a hot tea can i say something uh-huh. i'm related so now i'm looking up the cast of 13 going on 30. brie larson was a six chick oh yeah did you know that i didn't think about it what a gem of a lady actually she's not a gem she's a queen that's what she is Does he end up like caring or does he stay a fucking asshole the entire time? You'll see. <laughs> Uncle Meat Java Hole. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> also, I feel like it's a different town than the first one. I'm sure. Place. I'm sure he probably like, like you know. Outskirts of Haddonfield now. Big grunge vibes. Have you seen Rob Zombie? <laughs> <laughs> when was this movie? When did this movie come out? 2009. Really? Yep. Why? Hey, you may have to pause this right now. Pause it. Why? Pause it. All right. Three, two, two one. one. Pause. All right. Hey guys, sorry about that. We had a tech issue we were trying to figure out, but we are back. Um, we are at 29 minutes and 36 seconds in. So here we go in three, two, one, play. On a toilet. So since 1946, this country has been under the military industrial complex. Right on the first. I'm just going to say I've met a lot of people like that in my life. <laughs> Down with the establishment? Have you heard yeah, the Green Day song? I pretty much. <laughs> bored by bored. Since when did everybody become like goth? Which is fine. Like, I, it's, I actually it's, not, that. it's not goth. It's grunge. That's yeah. the right way to say like, it. I dig the grunge thing. But it's this isn't this the late 2000s? Yeah, but grunge like, happened in the late 90s. I don't know. Like, if there's like a clique of people that are grunge, that's fine. But like, every single person in the movie is like a grunged out. Like, I have holes in my jeans. You know what I mean? That's fine. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I've never seen anyone act like that in a store. Yeah, nobody would act like that. Unless you're these people. What if a customer walked in? What are you going to do? Uh, say, hi, welcome to uh, Grunge Mania. If you, if you were a customer and you walked in that store, wouldn't you be like, what? Yeah, exactly. What's going on here? Also, Michael didn't talk at, like closer to the end. And now he's like, Mommy will be back. Mother will return. Yes, yes, you should definitely feel responsible, <laughs> without a doubt, 100%. Miguel, if you're one of those reporters, you'd be like, you should be behind bars. <laughs> yes. Not for any bad crime. The for literally the worst crime ever, being a dummy. About this version of Dr. Loomis. Yes. But you are a uh, intelligent human being who should have known. There's Hobo Myers. Listen to this. Cool. 
Hobo. Hobo, bo, 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 bo. There's mommy. What is that like a dream or something? Yeah, it's supposed to be like every time you see Sherry Moon and the white horse, it's like his vision and like what he's seeing in his head and what he's imagining. So what, he imagines she's still alive? He he's like they make it like Jason in Friday the thirteenth where he's like trying to get his family back together again. <laughs> And, like, that's so not what Michael was. Where you keep going, dude? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I had a pee. We've been introduced to Hobo Myers now. First of all... He's oh, I actually kind of like that. He's not wearing the mask. Hold on. No, but I kind of like... I kind of dig okay, it. Okay, I don't... When he's wearing the mask... Is that him? Yeah. The big guy? Yeah. He has a beard? Yeah. He doesn't have a beard. In Rob Zombie's movie, he does. Because <laughs> everybody's got to have a beard. <laughs> right? I mean, I like beards, but... And here we go. There's the country hicks again. They're fine. Don't you be judging. I know. It's just... I have no problem with any group of people. It's just like... I don't know. It's it just says like every racist every... ever. I'm just oh, saying. Oh my God. <laughs> That you know that's not what I mean. It's just like everything about his movie has to be like that, though. Like, there's no... I don't know. There's no, like, subtleness to it. It's just all, like, hardcore extreme. in your face. Yeah, like, everything is an extreme. There's nothing normal. Not even normal. There's what just... is normal? Maybe he wants to pose that question. Okay, why are y'all calling me a racist here? I didn't call you a racist. Miguel did. I'm not calling you a racist. You're just defending yourself for being, being one. Don't worry, guys. He's not one. Everyone Slay right there. In their own small ways, and we have to work to learn. Yeah, that is exactly that. right. We do have to work to learn. Black Lives Matter. He already hit him three times with a crowbar. Why do you need to do the, the Louisville Slugger? He does the Louisville <laughs> oh man! You know is she saying I... is she saying daddy because it's her father or? Yeah, it's like her dad and her uncle. I don't know. Okay. Because yeah. knowing Rob Zombie, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the latter. Yeah. Some weird like incestual thing. You know how um, that Carrie Underwood song says you're you're probably buying her some free little drink because she can't shoot whiskey. When that song came out, I was like, and the hood comes off. And now here I am. Yeah. And all I drink is wine. I swear, if I could see the beard come out of the neck of that mask, I'm gonna die laughing. You can. You can. Impressive. He took it to the face. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. I mean, that's a pretty good idea of karma. You know what's kind of funny is Michael like From let Dutch them do all of that too. Oh my <laughs> Isn't it kind of weird that Michael let them like beat the crap out of him first though? You would think he would like stop them, like in their tracks. Still grunting. I know the grunting is weird. The grunting bothers me bothers me more than the eyes. Is that a dog? That's a dog. It is. Uh, why? Also, that's weird. What? What? Why? No, that's a sin right there. Pineapple on pizza. Fuck out of here. I'm Whoa. I'm turning off this movie now. Whoa. I'm turning that off this movie right now. Lie. Goodbye. I'm shutting the podcast off now. Pineapple 
belongs on pizza. I, I'm not, it's a decent looking pizza. That shit looks like it's from Little Caesars. What? Whenever we get pizza, half of it, well, we get like small macaroni on all of it. And then half gets pineapple, and then half gets onion. And usually, <laughs> they don't cut it right. So we each have to eat the other person's side anyway. Yeah, honestly, we might as well just get it all on the same thing. Yeah. Because he's a good dad. So is he like legally her father now, or does she just? I mean, I think time? she's old enough that she doesn't like need a guardian. But like, I mean, I don't know. How old do you think she was in the first one? Like seventeen? No. She's she had to be like still, right? fifteen, sixteen. No, she's not in high school anymore. So she's like college age, but not. Yeah, I guess. Okay. So yeah, she's of the legal age. Oh, she, uh, the dog uh, gone? Yep, that's what I figured. It's just gross. Why? Exactly. Why do you need to show it? Like, just imply these things. Brad's not the gory type of person. Yeah. He probably wouldn't like Saul. Did he eat He's eating the dog. Why did you make me watch this? I told you it was terrible. Which he does that in the original one. He does that in the first movie. He ate the dog? Loomis and Brackett, and in the original 1978 Halloween, Loomis and Brackett find a dog in his abandoned house. And he ate the dog, and like, Loomis implies it. But that's the thing. They imply it. They just don't show it. Like, you don't have to show it. Why is she puking? They're lacing that psychic connection bullshit, where her and Michael are like, somehow connected. I was kind of worried she like got raped somewhere and she was pregnant. No. Okay. What? I don't know. There's some weird crap going on <laughs> right now, man. Yeah. And he's like, don't get puke on me. <laughs> he's yeah, just what's, what's he doing? Contemplating his life choices up till now. I don't know. Stuff like that. Like, I just... I don't... I about thought she was about to rip that off the couch. He made it all staticky in his ears. Yeah. And like, what is that? It's snowing. They're in church. Is that her mom? Yep. Like this is vision. Has some serious mommy issues. This is just overall just trippy. Yeah, but it's trippy. It doesn't ever explain why it's trippy. Like, it's just kind of trippy for the sake. Like, look at that. What is that? It's trippy for the sake of being trippy. Weird cult crap. This always reminded me of Halloween 3. <laughs> I feel like My Chemical Romance should be playing right now. Yeah. Or Evanescence. Yeah. Nightwish. <laughs> I also feel like that is a scene from Game of Thrones. Right there. But again, what does that mean? What is that? Like, it never explains any of this. It's just showing it to show it. There was a guy who actually did a uh, a fan cut. His name is Cole Edits on YouTube, just as a shout out. He did a fan cut of the first one and the second one. Basically, where he just like cuts out all the extra stupid crap that doesn't make any sense and is like trashy out of it, and it's so much better. It, it's it's such a better cut of the movie. October thirtieth. Wow, they jump right quick to the action now. So he was just sitting in the barn till like October thirtieth. I guess it is Haddonfield, yeah. But that's the other thing is like, what has he been doing for a year? Has he just been like chilling? Well, you just saw his weird vision crap thing. He looks like a priest. That's true. With the with the sweater. Well, yeah. He's gotta have that like turtleneck sweater on underneath.
He's so pompous for no reason. It's like it's like he's proud that he was right, but he didn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Those glasses. Did you hear what he just said? She was no, like, I... I think this is a mistake to like be making money off of these people who like tragically died. And he said, if I want your opinion, I'll beat it out of you. Like what? Oh. Like is that what that is not the same person from the first movie. Like it's just not. I already don't like this. I'm just gonna let you know right now. Know. Like, it's like, it's weird to have pictures of like Charles Manson next to Jesus in your room. Like that's also who eats candy corn. That's October 30th. Okay. Oh, we're flashing back here. <sighs> Why not just flash back to the original movie? Why do you need to refilm it? Oh, I forgot about this. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot. Did she kill someone? Stop. Remember Ronnie? Her piece of crap dad from the first one? Is that what she's about to do? I don't know. Is she like overtaken by Michael's? She's, a, like she's having a seizure. I know. She's like imagining it. She also had an upside down cross on her forehead yeah. and blood. It's just like demonic crap. It's it's stupid for no. It's just for no reason. Is this the one that you said turns into like? It's all like Satanism. The cult? Yeah. No, that's H6. Oh, okay. Yeah, they did that towards the end. But it's, even that is not, it's, I don't know. It's still not like trashy and disgusting like this is. This is just like nasty for no reason. Like, even if you wanted to still make, that's a good shot right there. That drone shot. Mm -hmm. Even if he wanted to still make it like goth and stuff, he could have done that. But yeah, this just seems really over the top. Like the psychic connection thing, that was unnecessary. That was that's also not a thing. (laughs) You only have like a connection if you're a twin, and some twins don't even have that. Bracket does not like Loomis, man. We're watching, we're reaching kind of a pivotal point in the movie, too. Why does Loomis go crazy, too? No, but I, if you're listening to what he's saying, I mean, Lori still doesn't know that Michael was her brother. She still has no idea that that was her brother <laughs> doing all of that to her. And Loomis stupidly put that in his book. Oh. So if Lori, like Lori's watching him on TV, if she reads his book, she's going to find out that Michael is her brother and like Brackett does not want that to happen. Like he doesn't want her to have to know that. This is another disgusting garbage scene. Well, it's in a strip club. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Strike one. They love me. They love me. I thought that was Michael Myers for a second. 
<laughs> I was like, there it is. He's really gone off the deep end now. Yeah. Also, that strip club is empty. What time of the day is it? I mean, I guess it's pretty. It's pretty late, I guess, right? Yeah. I mean, it's completely dark outside. Well, okay. I don't know. I would guess it's probably like between ten and eleven. Maybe it's a week. That's true. You don't know what day it's falling on. Mm -hmm. Taking out that trash. It's always the first thing of the trash that dies. That's why in that episode with SpongeBob, whenever he had to take out the trash. <laughs> Where yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. Oh. taking out the trash, taking out the trash. <laughs> You mean out yeah, there? Right. What'd you yeah. say? He said he so was like, yep, out there. The splash bringing the cash singing. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sferatu. Bro, that episode of Nosferatu, when I saw that, it actually gave me nightmares. Like that was that was really I freaky. Hate he was a creepy that you see man. his face. I kind of can't because my TV is crap. But, like, it blatantly just shows his face through the entire movie. Like, I think it actually shows him maskless more than, like, when he's wearing the mask. He's also got that cigarette behind his ear, which is kind of gross. Which I guess people do that, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can't see his face. That is weird. It's weird, isn't it? Wrong. Oh. He should always wear the mask. Yeah, he really should. He slammed him, though. Yep, saw that coming. It's funny because that, like, I know it's Tyler Mayne, but that actually kind of like looks like Rob Zombie. It does. Does it not? Like yep. in the in the shadows. Is it a horror movie if you don't have a trashy sex scene in it? Mm. This is gonna turn into a sex scene. Wait, are we looking at Brad? I do kind of when he has the mask on I do kind of dig the Hobo Myers look did you not see the hole already on his mask yet that doesn't work why did he walk up to him Exactly. Why wouldn't you just stand your ground and stay where you are? Yep. Also, she's naked in heels. Kick the heels off. Use the heels as a weapon. Oh my. Uh, <laughs> he uh, took time doing that. Uh, gross. Is that really the only entrance to this place? This is Fire. this building. Yeah, this building is not up to code. Oh, 
Oh, well, there. That's you the other the stupid now. thing. She ripped half of the mask off his face. So now you don't even, you really only have half of a mask at this point, even when he has it on. You still see his face. Well, dang. Why, man? She's dead. I think you got her. Yeah, I don't like that. Terrible. Terrible. He put closed. <laughs> that is funny as heck. <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, this place is closed now. But so wait, he does kill on days other than Halloween. Wrong. Yeah, that's true. Wrong. Not real. That is a little black pig. Not a real fan. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> People keep taking his pets, you know. Oinkin' boy, yeah. They have their teacup pigs. Oinkin what? Pigs. Teacup pigs. They're like babies, like baby size. Do they pigs. stay little? No, they don't. What? No, they don't. They get huge. No. -uh. Yes. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Let me see. Brad gets pissed, man. Read that book. They're small breeds of domestic pigs. They stay small. Well, okay. Their average weight is 70 to 150 pounds. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's small for, like, big, right? I guess. I don't know. Oh. Like, nobody knows except him. Yeah, nobody knows that she's related to him, except for Bracken. And he's trying to get a hold of her so that she doesn't find out, like, before. This? But, yeah. Update on the teacup pigs. That is not a breed of pig, <laughs> but it's something breeders nickname them when they, um, they don't, they malnourish them to stunt their growth. Mm. Well, that's um unethical as fuck. Yeah, so I guess don't get a teacup pig from it. Also, creator. would there be this many people lined up to read? You know what I think right now? Why are there that many people allowed in a store? That's what I think. Because of COVID? Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> Where is all their masks? I know. I just, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird book about a serial killer, and there's this many people, like, lined up to go... I don't know. Which I guess it's Haddonfield. People are like, or it's close to Haddonfield. Attached to it. Yeah, I guess they have. I don't know. Personal attachment. <laughs> Weird guy. You're the man. I wonder how he's going to react when he meets Lori. I was I did like this scene. I thought this fit with what they did for these characters. Look at this. Oh. Angry, I know that's yep. what I'm saying. Like that's like one of the that's one of the few things that like actually fits. There you go. Ah. I mean, I don't. He should not be making a ton of money off of off of that. You know what I mean? All part of the job. You got to be kidding me. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say. It. Yeah, he really said I that. I didn't even. I don't know. Yes. 
Yes, you're crossing the line. That's literally the entire problem with your character right now. He was cool before. I know. That's, that's what I'm saying. Happened. His character was really cool. And they just, like, screwed it up, man. Like, he should be, like, grateful to be alive. There we yeah, go. Yeah, that's true. So now she knows. She just found out. I wish there was a counter of how many times somebody said that word in this movie. I'm sure there's a YouTube video probably I feel about like it. It would probably be like at least 300. Take a drink. Shoot that. Oh, you'd be drunk. You'd be like two fifths down. Yep. Naturally, you drive 90 miles an hour back home after that. Yeah. I think we've discovered something very yeah. traumatic about her life. And I feel bad for Annie because Annie really didn't know. Like, she's genuinely trying to, like, calm her down and help her. Who is Angel? Did I say the F word at all in the original one? No. I don't think they say it one time, no. Not that I can think of. I could be wrong, but I don't know. I don't, I really, I don't think so. Um, um, where's the music? That's the other thing. You literally, they don't use any of like the, like classic Halloween themes. The only time you hear the Halloween theme song is in the credits. Why? Exactly. I swear. I think, you know, there's a lot of people that feel this, but like, I, th I think Rob Zombie, he, I don't even know how to put it. He knows that people don't like what he does. Like, doesn't don't like. agree. Don't, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that people don't agree with his, like, artistic choices. So I feel like they, he just does it out of spite. Like, he makes it extra out of spite. <laughs> just I don't, because he knows people don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess that's why he has a following. Because I mean, if you think about um, Halloween, wait, wait, yes, the the day before it was it was it was October thirtieth, so this is the thirty first. Yep. So it's Halloween now. Yeah, it's Halloween now. So they're wearing their costumes. Yeah. Bloody costumes. Brad, have you ever been to a party before? On Halloween? Yeah, I know. Okay. I know. Ever seen Mean Girls? Most of the girls wear lingerie and some sort of animal ears yeah like this year the like you know the running joke like throughout the year there'll be one costume every girl will wear in halloween yeah when you're like, harley quinn yep yeah, and then fair. and then this year it's gonna be uh wanda yeah, oh that's, that's true. probably true yep well we can't do that then <laughs> i don't wanda like normal i don't like normal halloween costumes i like doing different one year I was a baked potato. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I was. I wrapped my. Oh, <gasps> look who that is. Yeah, I know, I know. Weird Al Yankovic. And Weird Al. Literally a hidden gem in American culture. Which one? Uh, Weird Al. Weird Al. I thought his name was O W L for a long time. Owl. Okay. Yeah. Weird Owl? Yeah. What the? I don't Weird know. Owl Yankovic. I just never, I only ever heard his name. Chris Hardwick looks like a fetus. <laughs> doesn't he? He doesn't look like how he does in Talking Dead. Pretty much. I 
I just think it's funny. Loomis is like trying to be all serious and stuff, and then Weird Al is just like taking hey. over. Yep. Naturally. Loomis is the kind of person who like he's drinking his chai tea and he's like, I am an artist, okay? I'm smart. I have four college degrees. Four. <laughs> like that. I don't and know. And mountains of debt. Yeah. Never admit. Bro, you almost got shot. He's more mad about this than he is about the fact he almost got shot. It is dark, and there are still kids running around trick-or-treating. Nobody trick-or-treats like that anymore. Yes, Brad, because there are people like Michael Myers that exist. I wonder what's in his, like, satchel bag that he's carrying around. It's my comic book collection. His mask? Yeah. Gotta have a backup, man. This shows you how big he is, man. That terrifies me. Reasons why I don't Are you a giant? alone at nighttime. At least he doesn't kill the kid. Wow, way to wow. that. Wow, yeah. Sorry. Way to stop there. At least he has the morals, I guess. He was about to show but he kills the dog. He ate the dog. Ha. <laughs> It's disgusting. But I gotta say, he does do that in the first one. But it didn't show it. Didn't it. Show it. Yes, show you're right. It did not show it. Guts to get a nice venter. I think this is weird for her to do, knowing the truth. Me? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, like finding out like she like she's Michael Myers' sister, like she just ends up doing this. But now she's just like, I just want to go party and get drunk now. Like, what? Yeah. Like, I feel like I would want to be around the people who actually, like, care about me. People? Even if they, like, lied to you. It's different things. Right? Also, like, she knows what happened last year when she was with her friends. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I would literally be hunkered down. This is a rave. That is a rave right there. <laughs> yep. That doesn't exist. Even, bef- even before COVID. That woman had chains hanging from her nipples. <laughs> People do that. Is she just like grabbing people's drinks and downing them? I guess so. Dang, things used to be different before COVID. Yeah, I know, right? what a lie. Man. Yeah, I see this and I'm like, they're all sharing drinks and they're not six feet apart and they're not wearing a mask. I saw a tweet the other day that said, a year ago we were living our last week of normal life and none of us had any idea. And yeah. I was like, wow, that is so true. I thought I was going to get to do a musical with my kids. LOL! That facial hair right there is such a choice. I don't even know what it's called. The woman with her boobs hanging out, what is that costume? Like, what is she... Is there a point to that, or is it just to have your boobs hanging out? She's dressing up like a one-night stand. Yeah, people (laughs) do that. Like, they go to parties and they're just like, hmm, who can I get to sleep with today? Do you see the one I'm talking about? I'm I'm a chick who's dressing up like a dude who wants to be a chick. Yeah. I love that. You go, girl. That's the most like 21 year old thing I've ever heard in my life. (laughs) You could cut 20 minutes out of this movie of like unnecessary things. him killing people like the first one way. the first one at least it like all built to like the end this yeah. is just like like i don't care about these kids go getting in their van to do it like i don't care like i don't need to see that the 
Miguel, have you seen the 2018 version of Halloween? I have not. No, that is good. We're waiting to uh, to move into the dark side. We'll we'll do that next because. I wanted to wait until a little closer to when like stuff about Halloween Kills was gonna start to drop. So we'll we'll hit the the current timeline in probably like April. Um, okay. I'll hitch up with it. It's actually very. Good. It's very, dude. It's like it's I was. Like, I was very invested. It's just it's everything that this is not. A quality like, film. It's classy and it's good story. Like. It's not just like trashy crap just to throw in trashy crap. Like yeah. it's actually telling a good story. And it's suspenseful. Yeah. Like instead of just like, hey, here's the knife. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna pull your guts out of your body. Yeah, like, like oh. also that guy, he was about to get laid and he was like, I need to pee first. Hold on. <laughs> like what? Is that a priorities, thing? man. I don't priorities. know. Priorities. He, he had more of a priority to go pee. Next that's that tree, then, uh, that's king mentality. Get that vagine you until you die. Have, what? You don't ever have to go to the bathroom, do you? I don't. Is that know. a thing? Is I it bad so. if you like hold it? I don't know. But if she leads to a UTI, yeah, yeah, you probably do need to go. Speaking of, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, don't pull me. Literally nobody can hear her. Ah. Is this someone we know? Is he like choking her? Is that what's going on? Yeah. Okay. I see his hand there now. Like, I don't know who that person is. She was at the party. Yeah, but like, was she friends with uh, Lori? I'm not the one to be asking these questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm finishing my nails. Like, that's what I'm doing. That's the right way to say it, pretty much. You got snap by nice. now. Fancy hat. Who does he look like? Um <gasps> He looks like the doctor in This Is Us. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's who he looks like that delivered the babies. It could be. Check the check the casting. I'm going to assume the girl that died is Maya. Who's, who's the person that died in the van, Brad? What? The person that died in the van. Like, just now? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Like, the actor or the character? The girl, the, act, the character. I don't know. I don't think it was anybody important. Okay. See, that's the thing. Like, I don't... Nobody's, it's in, nobody's important. important. Care about any Bracket is the only one that I actually care about because he's like the only one who's trying to do the right thing. So Dr. Loomis is Malcolm McDowell. Yeah. Malcolm McDowell's a good actor. Never heard of him. Sorry. If you listen to this ever, sir. Okay, Maya's still alive, guys. More titties. Did I hear something wrong? Brown eyed girl? No? I have no idea. Okay. They call it that was Harley. Harley or Hartley? Harley. Oh. He was in Hidalgo. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that movie. I don't know if I've seen it. <gasps> It is, is so it good? good? Did you ever see that movie, Miguel? Mm -mm. What? It's Disney. It's about a horse. 
and the cowboy. And they're very good friends. Also, keep in mind, Michael was literally just where Lori was at this party. Like, less than two minutes ago. Yeah. I mean, I guess we don't know how much time has passed since that scene to this scene, but like, literally, it was not that long ago. Yeah. Put some and... rocking chairs on the table. Boom. Although not really. <laughs> wow. Oh my. Also, is the town not on high alert at this point? I know. That's the other thing. It's like, why wouldn't they like they should have like the SWAT team notified that yeah. like something's wrong. And I gotta say, man, this is this is the worst. This is like my least favorite part of the whole movie. It's the best part of the movie because it actually like matters and you care. But I just it's it's terrible. Is that Brackett's daughter? Yeah, that's Annie. And also thinking about what Danielle Harris did for the series, because you gotta remember. She was a kid in four and five. I mean, like playing a different character, obviously. But, you know, she just, she did a lot for the franchise. And this was like her last scene ever. And it's just sad. Like, it, it's a really sad, like all the other deaths in this movie, like you don't even care. But this was just like overly sad. Like, I hate it for her. Wow. So an actual off-screen death. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true. There was that grunt again. Yeah. I wonder why they had him grunt. Like, what was the purpose? You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, again, this is like something Rob Zombie wanted to do. Hmm? Oh. Did you hear Jules? What? She said she wouldn't be surprised if it was some weird sex thing. <laughs> like some weird <laughs> sexual innuendo. I feel like he's about to just bust through this door. Actually, no. Almost sneeze. What the hell? Twice. Is that? Ugh. This is a weird sneeze. Also, she ran out screaming and packed her bags and like told them all to go to hell or whatever. And now she's just like, hey, I'm bringing a friend over. Like, and now one of her friends is absolutely just fucked. trashy man does Loomis like come in at any point you'll see how pissed would you be if he just like did never make an appearance I know. He just continued being a dick. Like, he he was just in the movie for no reason. I really feel bad for Annie. She's like, Annie's like the biggest tragedy of this entire thing.
Well, what did he even do? Oh, oh she's still alive. Okay. okay, I thought he killed her already. I was like, what? Okay, that'll do it. Um, you should probably already know. Yeah, wouldn't you have an idea at this point? Yep. Unnecessary. And he's telling her to go. I know. Like to save herself. Yeah. I about to say it, it's it, it sounds like she's gonna survive again. Who? Annie? Yeah. Okay, I thought you meant Laura, but so yeah, she has to. Does she? Or does she die? I'm not gonna say. Again, he's like, he's literally like, oh my goodness. Annie's the tragedy of this thing, man. I appreciate the fact they're not showing her. I know, right? Yeah. It's not like overly graphic. I mean, the blood, obviously, but like the nudity, like they, at least they had enough respect. I almost wonder if she agreed to do it if they didn't Covered show. Her up. Yeah, like if they didn't show as much. I'm sure there's something in her contract. Mm-hmm. But also, like a stripper, you're gonna assume that a stripper will have clothes on, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, a teenage girl. And there goes Annie. I don't know. I feel bad for Lori, too. I just... She just acted so, like... Like a kid? Yeah. She just... She, like, pushed everybody away, which I know, trauma. Like, I get it. I mean, same thing with Lori Strode in... In the 2018 one. And in H2O. I mean, it's like... It's like he follows her ghost. Yeah, I know, but that's the stupid thing. Like, why? Because he's like, psychotic and he sees crap. Yeah, like but that. I almost feel like it takes away from the fact that it's Michael doing it. Like I just feel like it's his mom telling him to. Yeah, this is such a bad scene too. It's a good. I say bad. It's a great scene. It's one of the better scenes of the movie. But it's it's just very sad. Yes, without a doubt. Really sad, man. And Brad Dorif does really good with him. In a way, I feel like Brackett's the main character. But it's all that stuff on the floor. Blood. Oh, it was in like a weird pattern. Yeah. It's just because of the tiles, I think. Yep. Very sad. I mean, it's just... It's hard. I always thought this scene was hard. And that's what I I mean, like, he can write good stuff, you know? That's why the, that's why the trashy stuff bothers me so much because then there's this and like, that's meaningful. Like that, you've built up that character and it means something. It's not just like pointless all the time. It 
does have a good dark Halloween vibe. You know? Mm-hmm. It really does. I mean, there's no way they could see her. They left, girlfriend. You gotta find somebody else. Walk. Take away. Walk. Take off those heels and just run. Is she wearing heels still? Yes. Hey, a car? Unless it's being driven by Michael. Can he drive? <laughs> can imagine Michael driving. He was doing very well last night. <laughs> Remember from the, the first one? Yes. Loomis says that. Yeah, because he drives. He steals the car. I don't he didn't steal the car in this in the the first one, but in like Who's that man? Do we know him? Like a pizza guy? Like, oh, okay. I don't know. Jam Poor guy. Led Zeppelin in his car. He doesn't know what he's getting into, does he? Not at all. Poor dude. He's just trying to make some extra cash. <laughs> I don't know if he's a pizza guy, but that's the vibe I get. Well, we know he's dead now. Oh, he went straight through that windshield. I don't. That guy didn't even know it hit him. I guess it's the best way to go. I had a problem <laughs> with this too. Friend, get out! Ah, what? Power, more power, baby. It's like why? Oh wait, that's a VW Golf. Fire. Sad day. That's a tragedy. <laughs> this is the biggest tragedy right there. Oh Seeing goodness. that poor thing. Whoa. And that poor guy's body's still in the windshield. Yeah, it's on the horn. Hey, BW is a great safety feature. If you roll, you stay in the car. Even if your body's shoved through the windshield? Yep. Hello, you need to wake up. Dude, he's there. there there's no point anymore. He's there. I don't think... And her, like, she's in shock and she's injured, like. Is he carrying her? He's carrying her. Stop. He's carrying her. Huh, I wonder why the mom doesn't carry her. Oh, wait, she doesn't exist. And then that's Michael as a child. So why are there two Michaels? Exactly. It's just, it's make us a family again. Like, No. But there were other people in their family than just the three of them. I guess in his mind, she was the only one he ever really cared about. Mommy issues. Yeah. Because she didn't have. I feel so bad for Bracket Man. I really do. Is Milo squeaking a toy? You can hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. It's not loud. But no, I just I was wondering what it was. What? what? Dude, he is. That man just went through a lot. And of course, I feel now like... Lori can see her mom, which is stupid. The whole thing is just stupid. Her hair wasn't always that blonde, was it? No. I feel like I feel like Bracket I feel like Bracket's about to go uh, full John Wick on everybody right now. On Michael? Yeah. Becomes like Jason Bourne at the last second. Yeah. <laughs> Guy from Indiana. But like young Michael's holding her. But I will say this is it's a cool concept, the whole like you know, the SWAT team thing. Like I think that's pretty dope. It's just the execution. Oh, the SWAT team's here. Okay. I was confused what you were talking about. Michael's like, what is that? (laughs) I've never seen you before. Leave Leave me alone. Look at the hair. And killed her. (laughs) Oh, my God. 
<laughs> He's like, I was made a fool on TV today. So now I'm just going to barricade in my house. This is my sixth glass of wine. He leads a very fancy life. I know. What? What is wrong? Wait a minute. I just wrote a book about him. I thought he was dead. And of course now he's going to have some big change of heart. I was seriously mistaken. We talk about the fact that they have county cops on this. Wouldn't you have SWAT and like state troopers yeah. and everybody? <laughs> yeah, like you this would. is the time, like call in everybody. This is that's like here you go, Miguel. Sheriff. What the hell is he driving? A model Tesla X? Like he got there quick. Good job. I thought it showed the car, and I was like, "What are you talking about?" Okay, I understand. He went fast, right? Yeah. Precisely. He, like, kind of deserves it. <laughs> do you, for real, though, do you really think it's Loomis's fault? 100%. Yeah. Like, you think Loomis could have prevented all of this with Mike? Yes. Yes. It's, it's, also, it's also Brackett's fault, too, because, like, I mean, he also knew, and, like... That's a hot take. It is. It's both of their faults. Explain. How old were you when you saw this? <laughs> I was in middle school. I feel like there's a lot, I I was in like, lot of testing. I was in like eighth grade. No, it's fine. A lot of testing for a child. Wait, you said 2009? You were in sixth grade. That's, that's when my brother graduated high school and I was in seventh grade. I like how Loomis walks in here like the angry dad, like, what are you doing? Okay, so he can't see the mother. Well, she's not real. Yeah. Loomis I about said, like, I, if, if Loomis could see it, I would call oh, complete BS. Yeah. And Loomis isn't afraid of him. He's like, Michael, she's coming with me. Like, so you what have is no she say being over this right now. By? She thinks she's being held by, like, baby Michael? I don't know. And Loomis is like, you're an idiot. What are you doing? Oh, so she's like, okay. Michael's like, I'm so sick of you. I don't need you anymore, Dad. So the mom is, like, controlling her? I don't know. That's a knife. He's been using that dagger thing for. Is that his head? There it is. For real? I'm sure a lot of people were happy to see that. I'm not going to lie. Two extra, man. <laughs> he grunted. <laughs> oh. That's all it took? Well, he's down. If they have a psychic thing going on, if he's unconscious, then she's like released from it. It's good that Brackett took the shot, too. He needed that. I said, yeah, Michael's deaf, not dead. Why? Why? Why?
I hate this. Stupid, man. This is so ridiculous. stupid. Such a stupid ending. The director's cut is worse. I'll tell you in a minute. The director's cut is way worse. <laughs> Oh, in the face. Okay. I guess it doesn't really... It's just funny. It's so graphic with everybody else except Michael. Maybe it's in his contract. That's all I can say. <laughs> that was his face, wasn't it? Gross. He left it there. So I'm assuming this is the end. Yeah. The stupid end. Oh my god. Yep. It's dumb. Unbelievably dumb. And believe it or not, this is the better ending of between the theatrical and the director's cut. Hey, did, she, did she get shot? There's a little bit of Halloween music in there. Yeah, I hear it. Finally, we're only at the end of the movie. Pretty spacious room. Does she end up being a serial killer? So pointless. Like, it's so meaningless. And I really don't say that to bash Rob Zombie. I really don't. It's all subjective, but that stupid white horse thing again. So she's coming for her now. No, no, she becomes a killer. Are those scars on her head or is that hair? It's scars. Oh. And there you go. It's the only time you hear the music. The music. Terrible. Really? That, that's how he's going to end it with yep. all the pictures? Now, here's the thing. The, the, um, the director's cut so pretty much ends the same way. They get to the, the shack where Michael's got her. And uh, essentially, in the director's cut, Michael kill or Lori gets the knife somehow. And she goes to kill Michael. And she thinks she's killing Michael. And then she realizes she killed Loomis. Oh. Or almost killed Loomis. And Michael tackles Loomis maskless, like doesn't have the mask on, tackles Loomis out of the shack, and then Michael screams die at him. He talks? He screams die, then kills Loomis, and then Lori walks out wearing the mask, and they shoot Lori. That's the director's cut. This ending was better. It was was better, but it's still terrible. Yeah. Like, I honestly, I give this movie like a five. And I feel like that's high. I don't, you think that a five yeah. out of ten? You think that's high? Yeah. What's your score? Like, 
Not even like like a I two. Think, not even a three. Yeah. I don't know. It it has its good parts. It really does. But it no, it didn't. I've, I've Literally nothing. But that's yeah. probably. I'm not gonna lie. It's probably one of the shittier horror movies I've seen. I know. Yeah. It's just sad. He just left you with nothing to root for. But guys, that's gonna do it for our uh, our commentary of Rob's off. Rob Zombies H2. So, yep. And uh, we're, we're, we're pretty much going to do another. Uh, we're going to talk about this in our next episode, right? Yep. Episode 12. If you guys have not checked out episode 12 yet, which uh, we're talking Rob Zombies Halloween 1 and 2, plus some, some cool movie news, go ahead and check that out. And uh, we will talk to you guys soon. Peace. Peace.